In this lesson, we'll be importing a tool library to the cloud. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to modify user preferences, use import tool library to add tools to the cloud, and identify components in an assembly. To get started with this lesson, we want to upload the supplied file multi-axis positioning. This file contains a handful of components in an assembly, and you'll notice that they're not free to move about, even though they're not grounded in the browser. And this is because there are joints that are allowing them to fix or move together and align with each other. We have a stock prep fixture on the top, which allows us to machine the dovetail or the groove that allows it to be held in a final position. Then we also have our fixture assembly, as well as our link, and the stock that's representative of our starting point. So there's a lot of information inside this file that we need to unpack, but first we want to talk about some parameters inside of our preferences, as well as creating a cloud library for our tools. So first thing we want to do is navigate to your name dropdown and preferences, and navigate to the general manufacturer section. Inside of here, we want to make sure that we enable cloud libraries. What this does is it allows you to create and store tools in the cloud, which means that if you log into Fusion 360 from another computer, then you'll be able to see those tool libraries at any point. If we save them locally, they'll only be on the machine you're currently working at. Also note that we have some display properties that we're not using. We can show tool compensation offsets, which in most cases your tool number and the compensation offsets number will be the same. We also have show operation machining time, which can be extremely handy, especially if you're modifying parameters and you want to see how they affect the machining time. We have a tool description, as well as work offsets and spindle. So all of these can be turned on or off and change the way that your browser is displayed. However, most of these options are default, so we're going to leave mine as is, but feel free to play around with yours and see how it changes your display. From here, we're going to navigate from the design workspace to the manufacturer workspace, and we want to take a look at manage and tool library. From here, we have cloud library, which is where we've stored our CAD CAM turning tool library. But I want to go ahead and right click on cloud and select import tool library. We want to navigate to the location of this lesson's data set and find the tool library that's supplied. Once we found CAD CAM multi axis tool library dot tools, let's go ahead and select open. And now we've created this inside of our cloud section. This allows us to access all the tools that are preloaded. In this case, we have a spot drill, a couple drills, a tap, a chamfer mill, and two flat end mills that can be used to machine this part. Now that we have these loaded, we want to go ahead and create a new CAM setup. But since we've made some changes, let's first save our file before we move on to that next step. 